Hello Ratbags, I'm going to bore you to death if you've already played a bit of Grounded right now as I list how to get all the resources, but I've put into chapters so you can go ahead and skip to some of the more hard to get resources. I'm also going to show you guys how to get basically some of the eggs, they're really rare but you can get them. Mints, that's really important. Berry, leather as well and pretty much all the other stuff and talk about how some of the food generates differently every time like hot dogs and apple cores. So don't forget to like, really appreciate all the support and the grounded content and let's crack on with everything you need to know about all the naturally respawning resources. If you're looking for water, the only place you can get water naturally is you'll find it in the top of the grass or laying on the floor. You just simply have to bash the grass leaf and it normally drops it. You'll also find juice near any single juice box. Mushrooms, you'll find a bunch of these obviously wherever you see the large ones. Go ahead and just eat them raw. Plant fibre, you'll find it all over the map in these little green little tufts. Grass, when you chop grass down it should usually give you three or four planks. But also if you chop down a stalk you'll also get even more plant fibre. Apparently they do grow back. Grass you have to carry itself usually between five pieces unless you get some ant armor that will allow you to carry more. Pebbles, find it all over the map. You'll also find these big pebbles which you can break open with a hammer. It usually gives around six to seven pieces of pebblet. You'll find sap all over the floor over the map, but you'll find more of it in these locations near the big tree. You can also find it in a great big mound growing underneath and again you lose your hammer to get it. Again you normally get between sort of three and six pieces. If you're not near the big oak tree you'll also find it underneath or alongside lots of twigs. Sprigs, these are little sprigs that grow and you'll need these for a bunch of different tools and building pieces. Clover, it grows pretty big, you can get some that are pretty small. Chop it down and you'll be able to eventually get some clover armour and you also need this for a bunch of storage items. More importantly though, you need it to make a lean-to to save your progress. Dry grass is this discoloured stuff. You'll find it all over the map. But just near where you spawn, you'll also find a huge amount of the dry grass. Just like normal grass pieces, chop it down to get three or four bits. Except these do go in your inventory. And don't forget to also go for the bit that's sticking out. You'll need dry grass to make torches and a bunch more. You'll also find dry grass laying on the floor, so even if you don't have an axe, if you come to the dead areas, you'll often find it just sprouting. Dandelions are where you get your wood stalks or your stems. This is what you need to build your bases with. Do note that you're going to need to find the chip next to Burgle and give it to him basically so it unlocks the next set of base upgrades, which include a lot of the stem pit base parts. Chopping it down, it'll normally give you four or five. And you can also get the tufts of a dandelion, which if you equip and then press jump and jump again, you'll be able to use from high places to float down. Thistles are these purple plants. Go up to it and with an axe, you'll be able to get thistle needles, which you need for arrows. So definitely something needed when taking on some of the bigger creatures with ranged weapons. You can't chop this one all the way down, at least I've never been able to. Instead, it just eventually will run out but it will replant a couple days later. You'll often find these plants with a little bit more pointed leaves. At the moment, they don't do anything. You can't chop them down. You can only just about climb them. you find the rotten lava blades just here, right on the other side of this giant massive log or twig, underneath the maple leaves and next to the food cartons and the hot dog. A few spots around the map, you're gonna find discarded food. Next to the lava blades, you'll find some hot dogs. And in other spots, you'll also find an apple core. Now, I think it's generated because sometimes it's not an apple core very close by. Instead, you do get another hot dog. So it does seem to change every other day. You do need a level two ax to get some. Or if you go to the ant nest that is near where you spawn, you'll also find some of this sometimes. That's where the ants pretty much drop and deposit it. You'll also find another location for the apple core right near the start of the hedges just here. Again, you're going to need a level 2 item to hack at it and get some. These spider webs you can't actually harvest and they don't do anything to you. It's these ones that you can get stuck on and if you do you just simply need to punch your way out. Keep whacking away though and you will pick up spider silk. 
eventually it will disappear. If you come all the way over to the water side, you'll see these giant massive big flowers. You should find pieces of nectar. It's edible and drinkable. You'll also find flower petals. These are going to be needed to make ladybug armor and lure arrows as well as the mint mallet. There's no point trying to harvest these flowers. You don't get anything from them and nothing else drops. That is unless you can climb right to the top and attack the flowers themselves and that's when some more petals will fall. You'll also find aphid honeydew. This is pretty much the aphid's poo. This will replenish your health and your food. It also replenishes your liquid too. If you come all the way over to this side of the map, this is also one of the only places you're going to find bee pollen. Now it doesn't have much of a use just yet, but in the future I think this is where we might have to actually fight bees and to get some more honey. I could be wrong, but I do think this is where we are going to find lots of bees. Here's the pollen. You can see it doesn't really do much. You can pretty much only use it for a pollen holder. And clearly the bees will be going nuts over it. So if you do come across it, stop pile it for later, but don't worry too much right now. If you do see other kinds of flower petals or other kinds of flowers, they will all drop the same style petal. There's no difference between what looks like a rose bush and maybe what looks like a tulip. This is a good place to come as well to get more thistle needles. And if you've got a level to axe, the insect axe, which you need a ladybug head yeah. and some bombardier parts, you can chop down this. It looks a bit like the other plant that I said has no use, but it will give you a bunch of weed stems as well. Although you still get more from just the dandelions. Again, in the future, I think these are going to be used for something maybe a little bit more different. Or maybe it is just to spread some extra resources that aren't just dandelions around the map. And if you chop down the stalk, you'll get a bunch of plant fiber from them too. These plants here don't give you anything. We're back to the massive oak tree now, and we're going to be looking at acorns. You need a hammer to take care of these. Break them open to get acorn pieces, which you'll need for armor. The acorn top, which you'll need to make a sap catcher. And you also get acorn bits, which you can eat or combine with honey, eventually when that gets added, to make granola bars. In the cave where you have to take care of the mites, you'll also find some quartzite. It's not the only place that you'll find quartzite. You'll find it at the shovel area where the entrance is usually blocked up by some acorns. We'll find some quartzite in other places as well, usually caves. You need a hammer to get it. And this is going to help you repair your weapons and tools. You'll also obviously find the mites as well. And the fuzz for these guys is what you need to make arrows. Pretty much in every single cave or nest, you'll find slime molds. Now they light up the way when they're connected. But when you mix them with some dry grass and some fiber, you can actually make yourself a torch out of them. But they don't last very long. You're still better off at making a proper torch as it lasts much longer. In the hedge, you'll also find blueberries. All the way over on this side, this is where you can get the berry chunks. And this is what you're going to need to make leather. Quite a few of the tier 2 items need the leather. And a whole bunch of the armors, the really nice good armors, need it as well. You'll find clay in some caves, but most of all you'll find it in the wet areas. Pretty much all around here there's loads of clay. You're going to need a shovel to dig it up though. Now for a shovel you need an acorn piece to dig out all the clay. You need clay to make armor stands, clay foundations and wall mounts. If you haven't seen this yet because people are reporting it's glitched, these are science points and pretty much allow you to buy more upgrades in the future. I've done a whole video on this so go and check it out about where you can find big amounts of them. That is just another location. For the mint box, you should pretty much come across it. It's right near the spawn point. You do need that level two hammer. If you keep hitting away at the mints, eventually you'll get some mint chunks. You're gonna need five of these, I think it is, to actually make the hammer. You will be able to get a little bit more, but I'm not too sure if they respawn. So don't lose your hammer, and you should be able to repair it with quartzite like normal. The mint mallet is tier three. You need nine silk, five chunks and flower petals as well. Next up, it's time to look at what you get from the insects and bugs themselves. Gnats, you need to actually make a bow. You also need it for the gas mask. When you go into some spider caves, you may come across some red web. It pretty much means it's just gonna give you some more of the actual silk. To get grubs, you need to look for these little lines that are moving underneath the ground. This is where the grubs are. You dig them up. 
You should be able to then kill them with another weapon. The grub group you need for a grub vest and smoothie station. The hides you also need it for your goggles. My hat and canteen, as well as the lava blade. Spiderlings don't give you anything but more silk. Stink bug give a bunch of stuff you're gonna need. And they're normally in threes or fours, but you can find one usually just underneath the rake where you can use your bow and arrow to take it down. And obviously at the moment, this one has managed to spawn just on top. You'll get stink bug parts from it and stink bug gas sack. You need the stink bug parts to make the gas mask and that hammer level two, which you can then use on the box of mints. And the gas sack, you need to make gas arrows and gastro goo. Now wolf spiders are the only way you can get the spider fang. And you need that for some really high level weapons. You need it for the spider armor set for the hood, the spider fang dagger, which is an upgrade to the lava spike dagger. And you also need it for the insect bow. The insect bow also needs spider chunks, which you can get from any spider. If you go into the toxic areas, all the way over this side of the map pretty much, you will find these guys, infected mites. They'll give you a piece of mite fuzz, but they'll also give you the fungal growth. You can see mite fuzz literally unlocks so many different things. Lots of armor sets you're gonna need it for. Now you need the fungal growth to make stuff like bombs, but it doesn't look like the bombs are currently properly working as you also need ant eggs. During a demo, you could get hundreds of ant eggs in the ant nest, but they seem to have nerfed it. So every time I've gone in there, I've only ever found one out of about six tries. Maybe because the ants actually hatch if you take an egg and you leave it out. So yeah, maybe that'll be corrected in the next couple of weeks in a hub day. Also, it's not a resource, but the armor set does spawn in this cave. I've done a live stream showing you guys how to go and get it. So go and check it out, all legit. Anywho, back to the fungal growth. You'd also get some from these guys, but you've got to hit them once and then try and pick it up before they blow up. You will get some bits that they drop afterwards, but sometimes you don't get as many. You can get a weevil nose from them too. Obviously, they do a lot of damage when you're not cheating like me in God mode. Bomb deer parts. They're pretty useful for all sorts. You need bombardier parts to make the jerky rack, which means you can have food that doesn't spoil, and the insect axe, which is probably the most important. And you also need the boiling alarm to make the insect hammer. And again, that's probably one of the most useful things from it. Soldier Whoa, ants, you need to get the mandibles. And as I said, they also drop acid too. The ant parts that drop from any ant, you get to make the ant arm out of, and the ant club, which is a pretty decent weapon. The ant head you need for the ant helmet and the mandibles you're going to need to get the sap catcher and also make liquid rage which is another smoothie. The acid glands you need to make rubber. You also need it for the lava blade and the ant arm guards and you need rubber if you want to make the bounce web. The catapult and the slingshot are not in the game just yet. Weevils. They sometimes drop the weevil nose. This is what you need to create a mask. But you might have to kill a couple to really get one. Bombardier beetles will drop a bunch of stuff that you need, particularly for level 2 items. You can find them on this big rock right here. And you will find a one odd one, more or less near the big strip of wooden posts. Usually towards the water end. And you'll also find them on the opposite end, towards the great big massive wall. Kill spiders, particularly the orb weavers, and you'll get spider chunks, spider venom, and spider silk. You need spider silk for pretty much everything, including weapons and armor pieces. Spider chunks you need for bow and the spider armor set. And spider venom you're going to need for venom arrows and the spider fang dagger. Larvae are scattered all around the map, but you'll find them near the hedges in a bit more of abundance and you will find them in certain caves. You're gonna need these to make quite a lot of the tools and weapons. It's the lava spikes you need. You'll also get acid glands from them too. Now you can get acid glands from larvae, but you'll also get them usually from soldier ants. There's quite a few of these larvae in this area, so be careful as they're pretty tough. If you come across any strange shells, it doesn't look like these are used for anything just yet. And there's nothing in the files that says this will be anything in the future. So there we go, that is all the resources in Grounded. If there's any you think I've missed, let me know in the comment section. But that is all the naturally spawning resources 
I hope they do fix the eggs. I can't really make any bombs at the moment because it's just so hard to get hold of any. And I can't wait to see when they start adding some of the other stuff like honey and bee fur or bees so we can make a bunch of the other stuff. I will be doing a video taking a look on how to craft and make all of the armor sets and the weapons as well. So until next time Ratbags, I will see you later.